Kate's Mad Dolls, and I was able to get the new Scared Ice Island Clotting Wolf Duel. Uh, I got her on Amazon for $17.99. I picked her up at the Amazon Locker, and she is much better in person, I have to say. Um, now, mine did come damaged. Boo. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I tried to undent it as much as I could, but it looks like somebody stepped on her, squished her, something, which was weird because she came in a box. So that means she was probably squished before she was put in the box. Uh, unfortunate, um, but returns on Amazon uh, are too hard. So I'm gonna open her anyway, so I'm fine with it, whatevs. Now, if this was gonna be an inbox one, I would not be so kind about it. <laughs> I would be very upset. Uh, it, it did make me mad. It does make me mad, but it's whatever. So before we jump into it, make sure you subscribe, follow me on all my other social medias because I've got lots of other stuff going on there. And of course, check out my whatnot link for $15 off your first purchase. It's free $15 for you to use. Might as well use it. So let's take a look. Here is the gorgeous artwork by Darko Dark. Uh, it's so good. I love it so much. I am loving so far scared ice island is like my favorite i've already unboxed everybody uh <laughs> so it says scared ice island claudine wolf oh even the back got like like schmutchy stuff on it whatever so here is the artwork of everybody else we've got frankie heath dracula who've already all unboxed you could go check out those videos and there is a claudine looking gorgeous and it says Scared Ice Island, Claudine Wolf the Boo Crow is ready for a relaxing getaway on Scared Ice Island. Dracula, Claudine, and Frankie have packed all the trip essentials, including SPF 5000, a hair-raising beach read, and totally electrified smoothies. Even Heath Burns is bringing the tropical heat with his blazing hair and fire outfit. This vacation is sure to be filled with surf, sand, and plenty of scary fun ahead. Now, Laguna is also going to be included, but she's going to come with a big old playset. So for some reason, they just didn't put her artwork on there. It's like, Laguna for doing you. Um, so she's coming out soon. She's not out yet. Here is the UPC uh, in case you were interested. Uh, yeah, so that is a Clark Dane. I think she looks so cute. I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited. So I am going to unbox her and I will be all right back. And I'm back and I've got Claudine all out of the box. Yeah, <laughs> that uh, pretty much sums up how I'm feeling about her so far. So let's take a look at these scare accessories and, and then uh, I'll talk about Claudine. So she comes with a purple hydro flask. It is um, reused, um, but the lid comes on and off. It is pretty cool. Honestly, I like it. I like the design. I think it's very cute, very modern. Cause like me too, I love my hydro flask. And I do really like her sunglasses. We've got these translucent neon green like moon glasses. I'll put them on her later. And now this is such a weird niche <laughs> reference, callback, Easter egg. Uh, she comes with this book, um, which I like it. I like Monster High books. Now these two characters are random background characters from G1. I don't know why. It's it's such two random characters to put on here. Uh, it's called Howler Thriller. And like I said, we've got some characters from, I think the first experience was Fright On. Uh, we've got this uh, beach bag that is translucent purple with like some moons molded on. It's okay. <laughs> um, and now we've got Club Dean. Now, of course, my biggest complaint with G3 and it will and always will be apparently um, no doll stand. Never a doll stand except once. Please give us doll stands. <laughs> um, so this doll stand is from Amazon. I will link it down below. It will be an affiliate link. So if you want to check them out for yourself, I will put it there. So uh, let's talk about ha. Talk about ha. So now here's my problem. I, I love her, except these ugly shoes that do not match anything. <laughs> Why are you here? You know that color palette that I talk about? <laughs> I don't know if you've seen my other Scared Ice Island videos. Um, my biggest critique with G3 is that they don't stick to a color palette that well. Now, with recent dolls, they have been, and it is working in their favor. Original G1 Monster High dolls usually had a very strict color palette of maybe three or four colors and nothing else. G3 was kind of like, let's throw every color on a doll and hope it appeals. Uh, it didn't. So this is what it's giving, which is sad because all the other dolls in this series 
were perfect. So it's weird that we've got a purple, green, and black color palette with pink shoes. Like, I'm I'm not getting it. I'm I'm just confused. So let's talk about the positives because without these shoes, she is gorgeous, extraordinary. I love this. I love Claudine in green. It is my favorite. She is seriously giving a uh, Skultimate Roller Maze G1. It's the hair, I think. It's the green gorge. So Claudine has one earring in her left ear. It is a translucent green star, heart, and a moon. Oh no, it's just a chain. A heart? No, no heart, no heart no heart um so just a star and a moon and a chain it looks good there is no earring in this ear and then she has on this cute little translucent purple visor which this should have been the shoes but um yeah no it is really cute we've got molded in studs we've got molded in like cheetah print because it's claudine and now ready for this it's saran <sighs> saran saran Oh, I love you. <laughs> Smells delectable. It is gorgeous and curly and beautiful. So on the top, we've got Claudine's new hair color, which is this really weird purple. Uh, and then of course we've got this gorgeous bright purple, which should have been the whole color of all the hair. Cause that's a nice purple uh, instead of this weird purple. Um, but yeah, no in there and then under here for some reason we've got her brown hair just one streak though just one i don't know um <laughs> she does have a really nice makeup though except for the lipstick we've got dark brown eyebrows we've got green kind of like a magenta-y purple and then a light purple eyeshadow she's got blushing she's got freckles and pink lips boring Every doll in this series has pink lips. Boo. Should be purple. Should be purple, guys. Uh, even if it's a dark purple, a light purple, it should be purple. So now, coming down, our ghoul. I love her bathing suit. Now, I am going to take off her little fake pants <laughs> to look at her bathing suit. Because these are beach dolls. I love it. It is so cute. It is a one piece that is a bright neon green uh, with, of course, that cheetah print all over it. And we've got black, purple, and blue, it looks like. Yeah, interesting. And we've got two little cutouts at the sides. It is gorgeous. I actually very much like that. And then covering up her bottom, we've got these uh, gorgeous little sheer like swim pant cover up. I don't know what they're called. Um, they are very nice. We've got purples and blues and greens. And then the designs are just like random little black kind of squiggles, honestly. Uh, polka dots, swaves, swoops, swooshes. They are really pretty. Um, the waistband is a elasticy kind of black as well as at the ankles. And um, I'm gonna pretend that these ugly shoes don't exist. <laughs> like, look at that. She's beautiful, she's cohesive, she's gorgeous. And then we look at these nasty shoes. Why are they here? Why are they pink? <laughs> Especially not even her like accessory, purple, purple, green, like, even the book is mostly purple. I don't understand why they would not just make it this purple. I don't get it. I'm gonna have to change these shoes. Like they are my enemy. <laughs> um, uh, what is molded in there? I can't even tell what's molded in. I don't know. I think they're just like random. Anyway, she's got these pink, ugly sandals that are translucent. Uh, they've got two molded in um, crescent moons. And then I can't figure out what is on the sides. Uh, on the bottom is also a crescent moon. I wish they were purple more than anything. More than anything. Mm. 
Uh, yeah, so there you go. Uh, also, I'm trying to see. No, I thought her edges were dark purple. They're not, they look brown. Um, Cause those would be fun to see as purple, I think. I think that would be cute. Uh, yeah, so there you go. Um, now something very fun with uh, G3 dolls is that the dolls have a molded on uh, details, some of them. So Claudine has got fur, of course, uh, in her ears, on her wrists, and on her ankles. That is a very cute. Uh, this doll does not come with chest articulation because it is technically a budget doll. So honestly, I don't mind. <laughs> I'm kind of okay without the chest articulation. It's fine. It's okay. It's cool, but like, she's fine without it. So we've got head articulation, shoulder, elbow, the wrists, the wrists come on and off. We've got the hip and we've got the knee. Uh, one day I would love to see some ankle articulation. Monster has never had it. Crazy. So let's get those sunglasses on. Do, do, do. I'm so very glad she doesn't come with her glasses anymore. Those those were awful. Uh, yeah, that's fierce. She looks good. Her and Heath, awesome sunglasses. They look so, so good. So, of course, make sure you subscribe and follow me on all my other social medias. Check out my whatnot link for $15 off your first purchase. And of course, at the end of my videos, I like to rank the doll on a scale of one to 10. Now, here's the sad thing. Uh, this could have easily been a 10. I love Scaradice Island so freaking much. I cannot wait for the Laguna to come out. I think that they are excellent. Um, I loved her until the shoes. I don't get it. I don't understand it. I don't, I don't understand. So, <laughs> um, I wish there was a doll stand, of course, but that's my only critique. Like, honestly, like, yeah, I want better makeup, whatever. But like, I think that is such a pretty doll. Like, even if they were green, I don't even know. They are just so, ooh, they're so hideous. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I would love to see the original designs um, and drawings for this doll <laughs> to see if she had pink shoes and then why, you know? Like, or I wonder if she originally did not have pink shoes, you know? Mm -mm -mm -mm. I don't know how many points to deduct for the shoes because they're kind of unforgivable. <laughs> I, yeah, I don't know. I'll say an eight could have been a 10. The shoes make her an eight, sadly, because I love everything else. I love everything else, it's not fair. Anyway, I'm done throwing a fit. Check out my other Scaradice Island videos and I will see you in the next video. Bye.